This morning in Your Money, we are talking skimming and fraud. Here this morning to uh, tell us what we need to know and how we can protect ourselves against is Jared Wilbur from Washington Trust. Good morning. Good morning. I was just saying, I get, anytime I use the ATM now, I'm freaked out because I'm wondering if one of these things are, are on the ATM machine. Right. For anyone who doesn't know, tell us what skimming is. So skimming is a type of ATM and debit card fraud where a criminal attaches a device to an ATM in order to capture the consumer's magnetic stripe data, mm -hmm. and then using a separate device will attempt to capture the consumer's PIN data. Once they do that, they can create counterfeit cards and make fraudulent withdrawals from the customer's account. So if I'm someone who's just going to get 20 bucks out of the ATM, how do I know when I pull up to, to the machine and I take my ATM card out and I put it in the machine, how do I know if that's a legit machine or a legit piece on it or if it's one of the attachments that's been hooked onto the ATM? So that's a good question. So one of the things we encourage consumers to do is to be aware of their surroundings, um, be aware of the ATM machine that they're using. Uh, inspect the machine for any signs of tampering or damage. Um, you can actually, if, if you're not going to break the machine, you can right. touch the card reader, wiggle it around a little bit. If it moves at all, that would be a red flag and you should report that to the bank because they shouldn't move. Sure. Um, but the problem is a lot of the skimmers today are designed to avoid detection. Some of them actually go inside the card insert slot so you wouldn't see it. Um, so in that case, your best chance of detecting something is to find the pinhole camera, which is what they use to capture the pin entry. Um, that would be a, uh, an overlay that would go over the top of the machine. Mm -hmm. and it would be painted to look just like the rest of the ATM, but would have a tiny little pinhole in the bottom. So if you see something like that, that would be a red flag. You should report that to the bank. And I was also reading that, that if you are going, you're supposed to, when you're typing in your, your pin code, put your hand over right. it. So if there is a machine like that, if there's a camera on top, it can't capture that, exactly. that code. Yep. So if I go and, God forbid, you know, I get uh, hacked or someone skims my, my information, what can I what can I do? I, you know, is the bank responsible? Am I responsible? How does it all work out? So that's a good question too. So consumers should pay good attention to their bank statements as well as their online banking immediately upon notification. Uh, if you notice a, uh, a suspect transaction, report that to your bank. Um, most banks have a short window for when you can report unauthorized transactions, mm -hmm. uh, but if a consumer reports it in that window, then they wouldn't be liable for that transaction. And I know banks are doing everything they can to, <coughs> to stop this because they don't want it any more than the consumer right. does. How, how are banks trying to curb this and stop this? Because technology is evolving every single day and getting in the criminals are getting smarter and smarter every single right. day. So banks are doing a few things. Um, we've issued, uh, most banks have issued uh, EMV cards, which stands for Europay MasterCard Visa. It's the cards with a little chip on it. Okay. Um, and that chip generates a unique transaction code every time the card is used. So if a criminal would skim a card that had the chip on it, when they go to create that counterfeit card with just the mag stripe, the bank would know it was a counterfeit card to be able to decline that transaction. Uh, we're also equipping our ATMs to be able to read the chip cards. Right. Um, and then uh, we're also installing in higher risk locations uh, a different type of card insert device, which instead of accepting the card the long way, accepts it the short way. It pulls the card into the machine, mm -hmm. slides it in the back end, so it would defeat any skimmers that were installed up front. Actually, I did notice one of those machines actually not too long yeah. ago, too. So if you, get to the, if you get to the ATM and you can't put your card in, try it the other way. Try it the other yeah. way. <laughs> it's not working. It's not working. Thanks so much, Jared. It's, it's good stuff, and you know, it's, it's horrible that we've got to think this way, yeah. but all great information for us to be on the lookout for. Thank you. If you would like to talk to someone at Washington Trust for more information on skimming and fraud, you can head to roadshow.com for a link to their website.